Hey guys, we have some very exciting news for the future for tablets, smartphones, and all that good things. If you use those, if you are interested in those, then this is something that you really need to hear. And that is that NVIDIA that is making, you know, processors for these devices are now working on quad-core processors. Quad-core for tablets and smartphones. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, because this year, 2011, this is the year where everyone goes from one core to dual core, like the new Samsung Galaxy Tab, and we have some, you know, Motorola Zoom, they all use dual core, and all of these new smartphones, the really good smartphones, they are also using dual core, and this dual core thing that is using the Tegra 2 chip, it's it's kind of crazy because this dual core thing is still kind of new for smartphones and tablets and now Nvidia is talking about quad core so you know what's going on so Nvidia they have announced their Tegra roadmap for the next three years and Tegra that's the name of their ships chip that they're using so this quad core chip it's codenamed Cal L and it is using 12 GPUs that is claiming to be five times better the performance of the dual core Tegra 2. So, five times! And they already demoed this out. So, it's it's kind of crazy because, I mean, five times, five times, five times the performance. It is absolutely insane. They also had some other chips codenamed Wayne, Logan, Stark, and NVIDIA is saying that these kinds of chips is going to have a 100% or 100 times better the performance of the Tegra 2, the dual core that everyone's using right now, sometime in 2014. 2014, it's four years, no, it's only three years, but 100 times the performance of Tegra 2, 100 times the performance of a dual core. I mean, that, that's, you know, technology is really, really moving fast forward ahead. So it's kind of crazy. So what the NVIDIA did today was they showed off this new Kalal, this quad-core ship for just a group of media uh, on this, I think it was on the Mobile World Congress. And they have some Android devices that they used them this out on. And it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see what you can do with the quad core. I mean, we haven't really seen that much of the dual core yet. I mean, what can you do with the dual core? We see some really crazy things that you can like have 1080p videos. You can have games. You can browse the web all at the same time. It's really smooth. So, hmm, quad core. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, but we love it. And also the interesting thing is that NVIDIA said that this is something that we are going to see on the market in August this year. So, do you know what that means? Well, it means that if you buy a dual-core smartphone pretty soon when they come out, that means that that technology is going to be kind of outdated at the end of this year, in August. August is not actually the end of the year, but if we're going to see quad-core smartphones at the end of 2011, then I mean, why should you even buy a dual-core phone? But it's going to be very interesting, very, very interesting news here from NVIDIA, so yeah, see it.